Alrighty, so welcome back to another weekly update. Um, I didn't do last week's update, but last week we didn't really get much except for the end of the Heroes Jubilee and the Crucible event, which came out. Um, the Crucible event is, to me, it's pretty. I like it a lot. Um, it kind of gives a use for AOE units, and you get a lot of training items with it, and it makes you use all types of uh, teams, uh, all of all elements. So. That's really good uh, to encourage variety, and hopefully, as the months go on, we'll get more, um, uh, more, more teams and more characters, and it'll be more fleshed out. But this week, we did have a few things. Um, first, we had the two million um, little celebration thing. Not really celebration, not like Dokkan or whatever. Um, this is just they were like, oh, we got two million downloads, so we'll be giving out a uh, hundred free magic crystals as a as a little gift um they also did announce a new character for this week um it's butler veldora um we do have his skills and everything he did come out so you can currently summon for him right now if you want to um and they did announce i don't think they have it here but they did announce another um like the hero's jubilee is coming back again so I have the slime isekai memories unofficial like English news account and we have the video of his skill right here and we're gonna watch it <laughs> sorry and let's see what let's see it So, pretty cool. Um, again, it's 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 like the Rimuru one, kind of, with like the whole gifts and Christmas theme. Um, as you can as we can tell, he's a single target unit, um, and we do have his skills and stuff right here. So, if oh, there you go. So his skill, Ornamental Spiral, is a single target wind physical attack. Um, he has two battle skills, Rapid Service, which uh, changes Soul of Secrets into Soul of Skills, and increases all Souls of Skills gauges by 5% for one turn. So definitely not bad, because he's um, an orb changer, and we all love um, orb manipulation. And I don't think the wind team really had like a someone who turned skills, uh, secrets into skills. I mean, we do have, um, like, the free Shuna does Souls of Protection into Souls of Skills, and Valentine does one of each, but with this, um, I think it's a good addition to the team, because, you know, each, everyone can use an orb manipulator. And his second battle skill, Sacred Guidance, uh, decreases all targets pierce power by 15% for two turns, and increases souls of skills damage uh, until the end of battle by 5% with a max of 100%. So the second skill is okay. Um, it's nothing too special. It's just something that, you know, I mean, it's good for, I think, this event right now because there's a lot of emphasis on pierce power and, like, um, pierce resistance. So not a bad skill. It's a little niche, but... He does have the orb manipulation, so at least that kind of balances out. And then his character traits, um, at one awakened level, uh, when you unleash a six combo attack with soul skills, increases own attack by five percent for the next turn. And then at three um, awakens, it's unleash when you unleash a six combo attack with souls skills, increases own attack by eight percent for the next turn. So it's definitely all about um, soul of skills which fits with the win team because they're focused on um, increasing the attack and gauge of the um, skill orbs. So he's definitely not a bad unit. I mean, he is single target, not AOE, and he's not a bad DPS unit. Is he a must summon though? No, <laughs> I would definitely say no. Um, it's just him. There's no protection unit or anything like that and it's not worth 
spending your units or not your units spending your crystals uh, to summon for him if you're like free to play or a low spender if you're a whale and you just want to get every unit then go for it or if you're a fan of eldora then i'd say just go for it um because i mean you could if you have the other two you could run like wind dark Veldora team but in terms of like a must summon or anything like that if you're trying to kind of save your crystals i would definitely say save not a character you need to summon for like not not, not a mandatory one at all <laughs> Another thing that um, came up was that they had adjusted the uh, skills and not skills, but they adjusted the stats for Milum. So they nerfed her kind of. Um, they gave her a total, like a higher stat total overall, but they lowered her um, attack by about 200, and then they upped her defense by about uh, 60 something, which. I mean, some people are saying that she was nerfed, and I mean, it is a, it is a nerf because they brought her attack down by 200. The thing is, though, is that looking at her stats and things like that, she still will be a really good space DPS unit. So, which we we don't really have. We have uh, Ranga, but he's not. He doesn't really do enough damage to be like a main stay DPS unit. And you have Limuru, obviously, but his role is a support not a attack unit. So she's still gonna be really good when we're able to get her. Maybe later on in the future, she's not gonna be as good, but at the start, since this is the start of the game, she will be still a good space DPS that um, people should think about getting. Obviously you can wait, then we can save for Ramorous or you can get other characters, but if you're looking for a space DPS unit, then she's she's the one that you want to go for and they did say here that they're going to start another heroes jubilee beta 2 p.m utc uh at on the 28th which i think that's about um 4 p.m pacific standard time so so look for that on the 28th and one last thing that we um I don't know, I, I think it was data mined, was that there are Octogram protection like shards to use because they changed the, um, let me see if I can, oop, let me see if I can find it, but they basically um, made a change where, okay, they don't have, but they, they um, added a way where you can buy an awakening for your Octogram characters for 70 octogram medals. Um, I'll show it up on the screen uh, in game. And they, I guess it was data in mind that there are also protection shards. So it's confirmed that there are going to be octogram protection characters that you can buy. Who they're going to be, we ha we'll, we'll have to see about that. Um, but that is pretty exciting knowing that we do have, we are going to be getting octogram protection characters. And um, yeah. That's about it. They did say um, the Crucible event is coming out. Uh, the, the next 30 stages are coming out. It should have came out already. Um, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. By the time this video goes up, it definitely has already been out. Um, definitely grind that or as, as much as you can. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, good luck on your summons if you choose to summon for Veldora or anyone else. Um, and good luck to everyone with this upcoming Heroes Jubilee event. Uh, thank you and goodbye.